Hey squad, Sykes here and welcome back to another Halo Infinite video here on Installation X. Today we are going to be taking a look at the recent Season 2 map preview that was released by Free for Free on the Halo channel which basically introduced two new maps to Season 2, Catalyst and Breaker. So Catalyst is going to be our new Forerunner inspired arena map whilst Breaker is going to be our Banished inspired BTB map. Now first off we got to see the maps in all their glory without gameplay they were just showing them off from an artistic perspective and I must say both maps look fantastic they look really really good and they look very very different to what we've had currently in Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite has been desperate for new content, desperate for new maps, new modes and desperate for some more diversity so one of the things that we got mainly in the arena maps was a lot of human influence maps right bazaar um streets all these kind of human structured maps now we've got a forerunner structure map which looks absolutely brilliant and breaker is now leaning more heavily into the banished aesthetic that we saw in the campaign and is also offering up a bit of environmental diversity as well so things are looking positive now, this was also um, accompanied by a blog post over on Halo Infinite, which I'll leave a link in the description for. And they went into a bit more detail about both of the maps and basically why some of the design choices were made, how we expect them to play with certain modes. And there's a few good quotes in there that I want to go through with you guys as well. So one of the things that was asked was about um, where do we start or where do 343 and the designers start when it comes to building a new map? So apparently one of the things that they do every time they start a new map is to consider what will make it stand out from the current selection of maps that you already have. So going into these design processes with the forerunner structures, the banner structures, was a very smart move to diversify away from what we've already got. So that's really good. So what is the summary for both maps? Well, essentially, Catalyst is going to be a symmetrical arena map nested high up inside an expansive tunnel-like forerunner structure. You'll find waterfalls pouring down around suspended catwalks, overgrown cathedral walls, and a light bridge connecting the sides of the map together. Breaker is a pseudo-symmetric BTB map set in a banished scrapyard where each team space is a huge chunk of ship debris divided by the plasma-cutting beam structure in the middle. And that we're going to come back to in a second because that looks really, really, really good. Um, the other things around some of the DNA and um, legacy around both of the maps is obviously they... You can tell from the Forerunner map from Catalyst that it obviously is inspired quite heavily by some of the older maps. So they made mention that... Um, some people managed to pick up on some Haven vibes from Halo 4 and also the big leaning to Catalyst is Epitaph from Halo 3. Now, Epitaph was a really, really cool map from Halo 3, a much beloved map by the community. And you can tell that it's kind of taken a bit of inspiration from that, especially with its architecture and its style. Um, and I'm really glad that they're bringing these elements back into the games. They've mentioned that simply making a remake version is not as simple because obviously the sandbox has evolved quite a lot from those previous games especially when you consider the repulsor the grapple um, shot and all these kind of things so but they like taking legacy inspiration to build into those new maps which is really cool to see um one of the things that they were talking about was um some again some of the decisions around the art style of both of the maps because they are very different so they've also mentioned that the forerunner architecture is typically monolithic and ornate which it is and they've done a free for free have done an amazing job of showcasing this in the campaign the forerunner structures in the campaign were incredible um, which opens up a lot of doors creatively the banished art palette is much newer and its library of reference material is still something that is growing and evolving so there's a great opportunity for a bit more exploration for that a lot of banished stuff is scavenged from the UNSC and Covenant, but there's also core design language unique to the Brutes as well, and often these elements are mixed together, so it pulls from a lot of different areas of Halo's aesthetic, which is really cool to see. Um, I really love the banished stuff in the campaign. I thought it was excellently well done. I thought it was really cool and really original, and was very different to the Covenant, so that was. I'm really glad that they're leaning into that now more in multiplayer, because the BTB map that we've already got in Deadlock is a map that, although is Banished inspired, it doesn't feel as Banished heavy as Breaker does because it's so wide open and you've got so much um, like hilly, mountainous, type rocky terrain all around the map. Um, whereas this feels really enclosed, really intimidating like the Banished structures were in the campaign, so I'm really glad that's moving over. Um, so when it comes to actual um, game modes, what can we expect from each map? So Catalyst was originally designed to expand on Capture the Flag, 
so it's designed with CTF in mind, but it proved to be a solid contender for several modes and was actually the first map that of our new land grab mode was implemented on, um, which be quickly quickly became a favourite among the team. We don't have any information on land grab at the moment. We only have confirmation that it will be dropping in Season 2. Whether that's straight out of the gate of Season 2, don't know. It may come in an event later on. Not sure yet. We'll get more details on that soon. And then Breaker also started out as a CTF map as well. Um, and the whole idea was to create high tension flag moments around the laser beam. So moving on to said laser beam, uh, we've got a bit more information on round breaker specifically. So breaker was designed as a map to embrace base versus base combat where territorial ownership is key to success. And you can clearly tell that the bases are very much either side of the map, lots of different routes in and out of those. And then you're obviously going to have that big central point. Um, we love mixing environmental hazards with the Halo sandbox and Breaker offers an exciting variety of ways to melt your enemies. We're also big fans of sniper battles and Breaker's sightlines and center lane offer risk and reward over key objectives. I really hope we do start getting those solid sniper modes dedicated for every player on the map having a sniper soon. Because if that's what they're saying with Breaker, that could potentially be an awesome map for, for a sniper playlist, which would be great. Um, the central feature of the map is the middle, which divides the space where, with ramps over a death pit, which we did get to see, um, which has given way to some pretty memorable vehicle runs. We love dynamic map elements, which is something many players will no doubt remember from the remade maps in Halo 2's anniversary multiplayer. For Breaker, we've got a giant laser that cuts through anything in its path as it moves across the map. That death pit you're going to try and jump over, uh, try and jump your warthog over. Uh, to get your flag carrier back to your base, you're definitely going to want to time that right because I don't think insurance is going to cover the damage the laser will do. Clearly not. Um, they also mentioned as well about timing a repulsor jump. That is going to be risky as hell. I imagine so many people are going to do that and absolutely stack it and go falling into a melting pit of lava. So there's lots of really good things here. I, I will say a little bit critically though that... It's all well and good saying that you love putting environmental hazards into maps. It's been a while since you've you've put environmental hazards, genuine environmental hazards into maps. It's all great and well talking about the remade maps from Halo 2 Anniversary, but that was, what, eight years ago now? You know, we, we want to see more of this in Infinite, and hopefully this is now the building block to develop further um, into Infinite, which would, be, which would be great. So overall, there's lots of really good stuff here. I think I, we're looking at a real positive step forward for the maps. Um, I personally would have liked there to have been more than just one arena map and one BTB map. Um, I think two for each would have been really a, a really good sweet spot considering we have been waiting six months for this season. However, hopefully if they can now get into this routine of dropping a new season every three months and adding a new BTB map and adding a new... Um, arena map in every season then I think people are going to get a little bit more satisfied from that because it's going to keep mixing things up more regularly I'm hoping though that we are going to see more actual developer made maps from the ground up than Forge maps when Forge releases because one of the things that they did in many ways bottle in my opinion with Halo 5 was when Forge was as exceptional as Forge was in Halo 5 and it was a great mode it just became a well we'll just add forge maps we'll just add forge maps no 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 forge maps are very important for community expression for creativity for social playlists but at the heart of it we still want those fully designed maps from the ground up because ultimately that's what's going to get us really really excited is when we see these really well designed well thought out artistic maps that's what we want and we want them to play well. And that's the big thing here, without getting too carried away, is we don't know how these maps play yet. I, I think there have been some really good maps in Halo Infinite. I love Streets. Streets is by far my favourite arena map. Um, and it's been one of my favourite maps for quite a while, actually. But there are a few in there that you're a bit like, meh on, behemoth. Um, and I'm hoping that these maps will ultimately play well, because if they look well and they play well, they're going to satisfy the community, and we're going to start getting a bit more of a positive feel towards Halo Infinite, because it's, let's be honest, it's been a little bit um, a little bit toxic in places recently, but hopefully this will grab everyone's attention again and we'll be able to move forward with Halo Infinite. Now, there are some more blog posts coming out over the next couple of weeks. I will do my utmost best to get them uploaded as quickly as I possibly can, and I'll keep that Halo content rolling 
in the lead up to season two. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave a like, head over to Installation X and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications for future uploads. Let me know your thoughts on Catalyst and Breaker in the comments section. Follow myself and the channel on social media with links in the description. And as always, I'm Sykes and for more things on Halo Infinite and all things Xbox, stay tuned to Installation X. Bye guys.